Welcome to Friday with Fustini's. It's May 22nd. This is an interesting date for Fustini's. It was uh, 12 years ago today that the doors door of the first Fustini oil and vinegar tasting room opened in Traverse City, which is interesting. I never thought 12 years later I'd be facing what we're all facing now. And it's also been 60 days since uh, we closed the doors to all four stores. So we're really excited to be opening up, carefully opening up today, the Traverse City and Petoskey shops. Um, and next week, uh, Holland and, our, and Ann Arbor will open up uh, as well, uh, complying with the appointment only uh, orders from, from the governor. So it's, it's an exciting time. It feels like we're moving on. Um, it's the beginning, you know, with Memorial Day weekend, it's also the beginning of summer for all of us. Um, I want to remind everybody that in addition to shopping online, shopping Fustini's in the, carefully in the store, we continue to have curbside service available. Um, and then tomorrow on Saturday, you'll find us at the Harbor Springs and Holland uh, Farmers Markets. Uh, so yeah, today is all about grilling. We're gonna have three, um, three grilling applications, demonstrations for you. We're gonna start out in Holland. Hopefully we can hold off the rain here. Uh, we're gonna start in Holland and then go to Ann Arbor and then back to Holland and I'll wrap it up. So with that, Denise, I'm gonna pass it on to you in Holland. Thanks, Jim. So with technical difficulties, you know we had a great week last week, so let's bring it outside and test our fate here. Um, so what I'm going to make is grilled stuffed green peppers. So there's a couple things you can do on the grill with that. One of them is we're going to have some steak that I'm going to grill and we're going to cut up that up and put it in their grilled peppers. So I'm just going to get that going. And I did not have any herbs of Naples at home. So what I did was just some of our Worcestershire sauce and then just salt and pepper. That's all that is. And then I'm also gonna start with these because this is gonna take a while. So first we're gonna char all the round, all the sides on the grill. And then we're gonna stuff it with our, our steak and some cheese, some tomato, some cream cheese and a little bit of hummus and then we're going to put it on the grill like this so it gets warm all the way through and melts all the cheese and then that will be dinner for tonight and i was just joking how my husband usually knows what's for dinner because he watches this and comes home and knows what we're having so basically we're just going to put this these on the grill on the side and these are just going to take a little while and you'll hear some popping but i'm just going to slowly rotate them as we go and then when all the sides are charred, then we'll stuff it with um, what needs to be stuffed inside. So I'll do all that after Nancy's recipe. Hey, Denise. Thanks. Nice to see everybody. I'm, I'm on location today. It's a little bit rainy, but we're going to be outside grilling anyhow. It is Michigan. And it is Memorial Day weekend. So the salad that I'm doing today is called panzanella salad, also known as bread salad. And it starts with, we're gonna grill up our tomatoes and asparagus and red onion. I've already brushed that with our gremolata. Gremolata is a wonderful olive oil. And this is a mixture of flavors of garlic, lemon, mint, and parsley. So these I've already brushed up with that. We're gonna put them on a hot grill. The asparagus, I roasted earlier in the day for the salad and chilled it. So that, that was taken care of. So put that red onion on. I'm 
and let that grill. So while that's grilling, I'm going to make the salad dressing that goes on the panzanella salad. So what I did is once the tomatoes were roasted and grilled, and they're nice and charred, so you get lots of great flavor after, off of them, I put them in a blender, and I blended that with the onion and our 12-year white balsamic. So we put that together, strained off the extra liquid. I've got two tablespoons of the gremolata olive oil. And we'll use a, a teaspoon of good Dijon mustard. Put that together. And if you still have this in your blender, you can blend it up, but I'm just gonna shake it up. That'll mix the dressing together. So the rest of the salad is comprised of good, good old French bread. This recipe is perfect for uh, quarantine time because you might have a lot of bread, you might have no bread, you might have bread that's stale. And it uses actually stale or dried bread. So if you've got a, a plethora of bread, then slice it up and let it dry or lightly toast it so it gets crispy. If you've got stale bread, just use that, cut it up into cubes and do that for your salad. I took the roasted asparagus, chopped that up, chilled it, and then I mixed it with a lot of nice fresh herbs. We've got fresh parsley, fresh basil, and shallots, and sliced onions, green onions in there. So that makes up our salad with the salad dressing. Let's see how those are roasting off over here. So we're getting a nice little char on them there. Yeah. Ah. So we'll put the dressing on the salad. This is one of those um, salads that actually does best if you let it sit for an hour. I know that's going to be the hard part. We're going to mix the salad dressing on. Remember, I have the charred tomatoes that were in the dressing, so we've got the flavor from the grill in the dressing. Bring her over our platter. Put that salad right there. There we go. That looked pretty. So you've got the flavors of asparagus, parsley, basil, tomatoes. Then I'm going to take a little bit of fresh pars fresh basil here, and we're going to shift knot it. If you're not familiar with that terminology, you take fresh basil leaves and you pluck them off and layer them together. And then we roll them up. So we roll them up sort of like you would a cigar into a tight, tight roll. And you're going to take little slices of it. And that's called a chiffonade. And we're going to sprinkle that over the top of the salad. Nothing like fresh basil to add flavor to a salad. This is a classic Italian salad that you'll find in Italy on probably any recipe and any menu there. So we'll sw sprinkle those over the top of the salad. And then I'm taking our balsamic glaze. This is the 18 year balsamic. And we're going to drizzle that over the top of it just finish it off with a wonderful flavor that the 18 gives that. Now I mentioned this needs to sit for about an hour. Let that sit and you'll be really happy that you did. But if you can't wait, then make yourself a few little crostinis, one for you and one for your videographer, and enjoy while you can. Denise, back to you. Thanks, Nancy. So I do have another recipe that's really easy and simple for summer, and especially for grilling. So what I have in here is I've got some um, shrimp that I've marinated in some Persian wine, so some Sicilian lemon, and some regular just lemon juice. Um, the recipe that we have in our taste in um, our cookbook wants you to skewer them with long rosemary um, twigs. Well, my rosemary is not that long right now, so I'm just using um, dowels or um, skewers that I put 
and put in the water so they're, they're, they're wet. So basically you're just gonna skewer them up and I'm gonna put them on the grill. I do have some fresh rosemary I'm gonna finish them with. And then part of the recipe also calls for you to, to set aside some of the marinade before you, um, before you put the shrimp in there. So this is what we're going to brush on our shrimp right when it's done. I also like it because if you're doing like a, a shrimp salad with some um, chopped greens, that that's nice to make as your salad dressing as well. So our steak is almost done. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put these right on there to continue cooking. So, and as you can see, our pepper is getting nice and charred. So I'm gonna take that off. This one's cooking a little bit slower, so we'll let that go a little longer. And now I'm gonna take my steak, and we're gonna cut that up. Now you probably would want it to sit and rest for a little while, but we don't have all that much time. So I'm just gonna cut it up. Yes, it's warm. And then this part is going to go in your green pepper cup, just like that. And then we're going to add some other good stuff. So I'm going to put some tomatoes in there. So these are just diced up tomatoes. I'm going to put some, um, this is cream cheese and hummus combined together. So we'll put that in there. We're sitting in the fridge, but once it gets on the grill, it'll get all nice and melty. And then we're just going to top it with some cheese. And then this goes back on the grill and we'll, um, we'll um, char the bottom of it and it'll be good to go for dinner. So that goes on there. And then our skewers are about ready to be flipped. Give those just a minute or two. Let me grab my tongs. This one's pretty close to being done. So we'll have that one next. Hey, Denise. Yeah? Can you... If customers don't have exactly the oils and vinegars you're using, can you recommend some alternatives? Oh, definitely. So for the shrimp, um, any any of the other fruit oils would be well be good, like the lemon or the blood orange. Um, even some of the fruit balsamics, let's say like the grapefruits. I like um, we used the mango a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> My husband likes the mango one. And then um, also for the pepper, what you're supposed, what we'll add is um, the harissa. However, I have so many bottles in my cabinet, I am actually going to use the chipotle to use that up first. So we're just going to put a little bit of drizzle of that in there. Mm. So we'll let that. So and you know, you'll know this is done when the cheese is all melted. So then we're going to take our shrimp over here and then we're just going to baste it with a little bit of our dressing. And then because I did not use the fresh rosemary, I just have some diced up that we'll just sprinkle on there. So that is that one, and then our peppers. The cheese isn't quite melted, but it'll look like this. And that's what we have for dinner tonight, Jim. Barry, you're one lucky man, brother. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great. Hey, thank you to both Denise and Nancy, uh, really good looking stuff. Wish I could be with both of you <laughs> to enjoy what you've uh, prepared. So to wrap up here, I wanted to let everybody know that we'll have, uh, a we do have all of these items 
available that Nancy and Denise showed you. They're available online in under shop and new items uh, right here. You'll see all of them there at 15% off. So you can buy any one of these three packages that Denise and Nancy uh, demonstrated today at 15% off through next Friday when we'll, we will see you again. And remember that as long as our uh, taste, live tasting is inactive, um, we are going to continue to offer our customers a complimentary bottle, a 60 milliliter bottle of your choice of an olive oil or a vinegar. Just let us know whether it's online, uh, whether it's you're calling in an order for curbside pickup, or if you have an opportunity to get into one of the uh, shops here over the next week. Just let us know what you'd like and we'll, we'll include it. I'm gonna wrap this up uh, May 22nd, um, an important day for Fustini's, a lot of significance for us. I think a lot of significance for those of us in Michigan, the start of the summer and Memorial Day. And I wanna recognize here on Memorial Day weekend, all those who serve. Thank you for your service. You have everybody have a great day, a great weekend. We've been saying we'll see you again soon, and I believe that more now than ever. So, see you soon. Thank you.